Hello my little butterflies and today's video is going to be my review on Red Queen. Now I was really fighting with myself on if I was going to make this video today or not because my throat has been bothering me all day and I didn't know if I wanted to do it or not and cause myself that pain. But you know what? I'm going to do it because I don't want to wait any longer to do this review for Red Queen because if I, if I don't make this video today, I don't know when I'm going to have the time to do it. Today, my review on Red Queen by Victoria AVR is finally going to make its debut on my channel. Red Queen is by far the best book that I have read this year so far. It is like, and it's going to be hard to run up to this book. It is so good. It's so much for me. It just, it gave me so much. It's like at the end of the book, I let go of breath that I didn't even know I was holding. I felt like I've been holding my breath the whole book. And when I was done, I was just like, oh, like it was so good. It was mind blowing for me. I didn't think that this book was going to do all of that for me simply because, you know, before I, I if I have the book, I like to read a couple reviews on Goodread about it. And a couple people, was, they said some stuff, and I was expecting to really go into this book liking it, because I also see some videos on YouTube that had, like, mixed feelings for it. So I actually went into this book expecting to come out just liking it and not loving it as much as I did. And I'm so happy to say that I can finally prove <laughs> people wrong about this book. Like, I read a few other reviews on Goodreads where people were saying, um... That they felt like Victoria had Aviard had a lot of good concepts, but they didn't feel like she followed through with them and it just fell flat. But I mean, I personally, I loved it. I thought she did a wonderful job owning her stuff. She went, I felt like she hit a home run with all of her concepts and followed through really good with them. But you know, everybody not going to have the same views and the same taste in books as I do. But I felt like she did really good. I felt like all of her concepts had a great one. She didn't fall flat with them. She did great description, everything. I felt like she did a a, a A plus freaking job. And uh, one of the things I felt like she did great with was building hate for certain characters. Like, did anyone else hate Evangeline? Like, I couldn't stand her ass. Excuse my language, but I couldn't stand her. Like, every time I saw her name come up, I just felt like, ugh. Oh, like I had that disgusting feeling like what do you want now like I was just like <sighs> that's how I felt for her and like she didn't have to try hard to build a hate for her it's like the second you met her in the book you automatically hated her like I had that feeling of hate for her like I just couldn't stand her she did great building that up like that was wonderful also the family drama that was going on was i thought it was very relatable for like remarried um families with like stepchildren i felt like that was a very relatable concept she had like that was a re very relatable family fight you know the jealousy and feeling like you love one child more than the other and you feel like you losing you don't have the same relationship as you do with him because y'all don't have this same relative and so i really like that she gave that relatable factor and it kind of built that um character and reader relationship up that you don't really see in some books like i feel like i know the characters the back of my hand like i feel like i knew them i grew up with them i don't feel like they just people i'm passing by day to day and i don't know them i feel like i know them like i've talked to them i've had a conversation with them i've been over to their house for dinner that's how I feel when I think about these characters. A couple of people also said that they found the storyline very hard to follow because they felt like they were in two different time eras. And I actually like that feel of the past stuck in the future kind of feeling that I got. You know, I felt I like the village. You're in the village and then you feel like, oh, well, we're in past tense. But then when she got to when she got to the castle it was like oh my god it's all futuristic and we don't have this we don't have that so i really did like the past stuck in the future time frame because you don't get that in most dystopian novels most dystopian novels have already a set time era and that's the time era you're in this one i feel like i kind of got a little bit of both you know and i really did like that some people say they were lost because of it but i i actually enjoyed that one of the things I also loved was the taste of the love triangle that I got, or should I say, the love square. Yeah, uh-huh. Did you see what I did there? Love square for the triangle. 
or so I thought that's what I was getting and if you read this book you know what I'm talking about when I say I thought I had a love square going on it was mind-blowing like <laughs> I don't know like I don't even I can't even speak on it because it's gonna ruin it for anybody who hasn't read the book but yeah it was good it had the right amount of danger and the right amount of passion in the book for me it had just enough to where I was on my toes but I was still able to feel a little lovesick for some of the characters but it had me excited I didn't know what was going what's gonna happen next around the corner who was gonna do this how this was gonna play out but I really loved it. It really had me excited. It didn't have me to the point where it's like something that stands still and I got just bored with the book. I was excited the whole way through. I flew through this book, which I haven't done in a while because I kind of got into a reading slum in the last book that I read. So this book was so good. And if you have not read this book, stop what you're doing after this video. Keep watching the video. But after this video, whatever you're doing, you need to go buy it, borrow it, go to the library if your library have it. Check it out, read it in the library, whatever you have to do to read this book. Like, you have to read it. It's so good. In this book, I was like an addict in Barnes & Noble on payday. And you know what I mean. If you have ever been there, you just got paid. You in Barnes & Noble and you picking up this book, that book, and that book because you can. That's how I felt reading this book. Like, I could not stop. I was addicted. I had to finish reading this book. And... <laughs> Another thing that shocked me was, <laughs> how about that ending though? That ending was bomb. It was so good, but it was a major unexpected turn in events, major plot twist for me that I didn't know it was going to happen for two reasons and I can't even tell you. But they were so good. And if you read the book, you know what I mean for two reasons and they happened like right behind each other. And oh my god. Oh my god, one had my tum my stomach twisted and the other one had my heart twisted. Like, I was like, oh my god, this book, you have to read it. Like, don't hesitate. I definitely recommend this book for everybody and anybody who has not read this yet. I don't usually reread books, but this book is something I will probably reread because it is so good. You know, I recommend this book for everybody. Go get it because I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering Glass Sword coming out in February. And speaking of Glass Sword, I was watching a video last night on BookTube from Sasha at a Booktopia. And at the end of her video, when I tell you I'm jealous, I'm so jealous. Not in a bad way jealous, but in a good way jealous. Because she got the art copy of Glass Sword. And ha, I didn't even know that was gonna come up in the video and I'm just like you would have thought if you was in the house with me you would have thought that I had a heart attack because when I that part came up in the video I was <gasps> oh my god oh my god oh my god I need that book like yes so hopefully I can get my book two game up to the point where publishers will give me art copies of books I know right now I'm not there so I'm not really too trip over it Cause I know right now I'm not even at that level. Like I barely have videos. Like I really literally just started doing book two videos last month. So I've only really been a part of the book two community for a month. As in making videos. But hopefully one day I can get my standard up to that point where they want to send me those copies. And get my reviews up like really good to where they can look at it and be like well yeah we want her to do a review for us. So, oh my god, congratulations girl on getting glass sore. <laughs> I hope you do a review for it before the other book comes out. Because I kind of don't want to know what's going to happen. But I kind of do want to know what's going to happen. As in a spoiler free review. That would be wonderful. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. That's pretty much all I think I want to talk about for Red Queen. And I hope this review was way better than my last one. I kind of feel that it is. But I'm not 100% sure. You guys can be the judge of that. So give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my video, comment, you know, let me know what you like, what can I fix, what can I do to make this better. That would be wonderful. So thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye.